In this video, I'm going to show you how to work your sleeve using the magic loop method instead of DPNs. So the first instruction says to transfer your sleeve stitches from the scrap yarn. So here's our sleeve stitches here resting on the scrap yarn um, to transfer them onto three DPNs. So instead, we're going to transfer, transfer them onto your 32 inch circular. So I'm going to go ahead, take one end of my circular needle, and I'm just going to insert it into the stitch like this. And you can do a bunch at a time. So I go ahead, insert like that. And then with my left hand, I just start pulling the scrap yarn out like that. So we're going to want to be transferring all of these onto the needle up to about the halfway mark. So up to the top of the sleeve. And then I'll show you what we do to then transfer the other side. Okay, so we're at about the top of the sleeve now. So what we're going to do to, before we transfer the other side is just pull your circular up like this so that these stitches are kind of in the middle part of the cable. And let's turn the work like this. So this end of your circular is just more free. You can kind of turn the angle now. That was the whole point of doing that. So now let's go ahead and transfer them onto the needle on the other side. Those last stitches that are on the scrap yarn, sometimes they can, they can get hidden a little bit. So the trick is to take both ends of the scrap yarn and just pull them up. So see how when you pull it up, the stitch kind of comes up more and it's easy to get into. So that's the second to the last. And then the last one, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna pull up like that and then put that last loop on and then pull the scrap yarn through. Okay, so let me turn the sweater now so we can better see how. I have about half of the sleeve stitches on one side. The cable kind of pulled up like this in between, and then I have the other stitches going down this side. Okay, so the next part of the instruction says to join yarn at the center of the underarm and you're gonna pick up the left side underarm cast on stitches. So for my size, it says to pick up the left side two stitches, so right here. So first what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this needle through. So now, as we said, we have half, around half on one, half on the other, loop coming through, and now this needle is pulled through enough so that I can 
turn it so that I'll be able to go ahead and pick up into those stitches. So go ahead and pick up the first of the left side cast on stitches. So I'm gonna go into this stitch right here like that. And then I'm going to take my working yarn and leave a nice long tail because we're gonna want that to cinch up any little holes that appear, that appear afterwards. So at least around 12 inches and drape it over the needle. And then you're gonna pull that loop through like that. Okay, then we're gonna go into the next underarm stitch and knit it. So now we've picked up and knit for my size, the left side two underarm cast on stitches. I'm going to take that long tail that I've created and I'm just going to stick it in the hole there just so that it's not in the way moving forward. Now the next step is that it says to pick up and knit one stitch to the left of the underarm. So you want to pick up somewhere in this area here. You just want to make sure that you don't pick up in an area where you're going to create a hole. So for example, if I were to go in right here, see how that would create a big hole right here. So I usually like to go in a little bit. Exactly where is totally up to you. Um, I'm going to just pick a spot. I'm going to go in right here. And I usually like to go into both loops of a stitch. And go ahead and knit it. And then I take a look at it because if you don't like the look of it, you can always just undo it and try again. But that looks pretty good to me. So now it says to knit across all of the stitches on the needle. So let me show you how we do that with the magic loop. So again, let me turn the work a little bit. Okay, so first step is that you're gonna take the stitches that are on this side and you're gonna to want to slide them towards the end of the needle so that you can knit them. We're gonna go ahead and knit all of these stitches. Okay, so we've made it to the end. Then what you do is you want to take these stitches and you want to slide them off of the needle so that they're just on the cable part. And then down on this end, you want to take the cable and you want to pull it through like this. Then you're going to turn the work. So again, how it will look visually is that you have half on one side, half on the other, with a loop coming out from one end. And then the stitches that are in the front here, you wanna slide them to the end of the needle. And then you're gonna take the back needle where the working yarn is coming from, and you're going to pull it through so you can kind of make this turn here. You're going to insert it into the first stitch on this needle. Again, the working yarn is coming from the back. I'm gonna go ahead and knit, and you're gonna knit all of the stitches on this side.
Okay. So now before we adjust anything, we need to just move on to the next part of the instruction, which says to pick up and knit one stitch to the right now of the underarm stitches. So let me just reorient this here. So just like we had done on the left side, I want to pick up a stitch somewhere in this corner, but not right on the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a spot. I'm going to go right into this stitch here. And then it says to pick up and knit the two um, right side underarm cast on stitches. And for my size, that's two. Now see how this first one, you kind of have this big loop but you do have, you see that stitch right there. So that's actually where I wanna go into. So I'm gonna go stick my needle right there and knit that. And then I'm gonna go into the next cast on stitch right there. Go into that. Now don't be concerned if you see a hole right there because that was why we left a nice long tail when we originally joined the yarn. This is totally normal for a hole to appear there. So the last instruction is to place a marker for beginning of round. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick our marker right on there. Then the next instruction says that you're going to knit eight rounds even. Now this first round is just gonna be a little bit different because we wanna secure the marker because the marker is just at the end of the needle. And if we don't secure it, meaning we don't put stitches on this side of it, it's just gonna go flying off of the needle. So here's what we're gonna do. First step is you're gonna take the right side needle here that has the marker and you wanna pull it up so that the stitches are on the cable and you're sort of freeing up this needle here. Let me move this up a little bit. And then you're gonna take the left side one and you're going to push the stitches towards the end. Now I wanna go ahead and just knit three stitches. So I'm gonna pull up my needle. And again, my loop is coming from the halfway mark here. I'm gonna pull up my needle. The working yarn is coming from this side, from the back. And I'm going to insert it into this stitch. Let's go ahead and knit three. And that first stitch is gonna feel loosey-goosey, so you just tighten the tail there. Okay, so I've knit three stitches. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this needle with the three stitches and I'm gonna push it so the stitches go onto the cable like this. So now, if you can see, on this side of the circular, I have my marker, but it's now secure. So now we can proceed with knitting these eight rounds, and the marker is the beginning of the round, using this magic loop. So I'm gonna do a couple, so, just so that you can see this technique of magic loop. So let me just reorient this a little bit. There we go. So after you do that move where you move some stitches onto the side and it didn't have to be three. I just picked three randomly. You just want to make sure that you have some stitches on this side. I have my open needle here. I'm going to slide the stitches on this end here. Insert my needle into the first stitch. My working yarn is coming from the back from this side. I'm going to go ahead and knit all of these stitches on this side of the circular. Once I get to the end where I've knit all of those stitches on that side, I'm going to push the stitches to the cable so that the needle is free. 
And then you wanna pull the cable through on this side and where you pull up the loop doesn't quite matter, just somewhere in the center area. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it through here. Then turn your work. And the stitches that are in the front, you wanna push them towards the end of the needle. And then my back needle, the working yarn is always coming from the back needle. I'm going to go like this so that I can free up this needle to knit with it. I insert it into the first stitch and then I take the working yarn that's in the back, go ahead and I'll knit all the stitches going down this side. So once I've knit all the stitches on that side, I'm going to slide the stitches onto the cable, pull my loop through a bit, turn my work. The front needle then, you want to slide those stitches to the end of the needle, then pull your back needle up so that you can use it to knit. Your working yarn again is always coming from the back side. I insert my needle into the first stitch and I knit. So once I've knit these two stitches, I've now reached my beginning of round marker. So that was our first of the eight rounds. So then I'll just slip the marker onto the right needle and I'll go ahead and knit to the end. So you'll keep doing this over and over again, and you can always you can always reorient where the loop is coming out. So for example, at any point, I can just go like this and then change where I have that loop, just like that. So that is how you work your sleeves using the magic loop method. <laughs>